Lead your nation to global victory in conflict of nations. A real-time strategy game where every decision matters. Featuring doctrine-specific research trees, units, buildings, resource management, and an intricate combat system, all of which provide you with the tools needed to succeed in all-out modern war. Available for Chrome, Steam, and soon all mobile devices. Head on over to conflictnations.com to play or wiki.conflictnations.com to learn more. Hi everybody, today we'll talk about the launch of the new flat-top LHD landing helicopter dock unit for the Italian Navy, the Trieste. The 25th of May, the new Trieste LHD has been launched at the Fincantieri shipyard of Castellamare di Stabia. At launch, there was the Prime Minister of Economy Development, of Labour and Social Policies and Deputy Prime Minister of Italy, Luigi Di Maio, the Minister of Defense, Elisabetta Trenta, the Governor of Campania, Vincenzo De Luca, the Chief of Defense, General Enzo Vecciarelli, and the Navy Chief of Staff, Walter Girardelli. The Trieste is the biggest ship ever produced in Italy since the end of World War II, with a displacement of 33,000 tons, and will enter service in June 2022. As previously said, the Trieste is an LHD, so it will be capable of deploying aircraft thanks to its flight deck and also deploy amphibious units thanks to its floatable well. While talking about the ship, the Navy Chief of Staff said that this ship will take the place of the aircraft carrying cruiser Giuseppe Garibaldi and so it will need to be able to also deploy fixed wing aircrafts. The day of the launch, the Trieste had a rectangular hole on the flight deck and when the special envoy for Rivista Italiana Difesa asked Walter Girardelli, he answered. The representation and rendering available online are reliable. That means that the Trieste will have a ski jump that will take away one or two takeoff spots for helicopters in order to facilitate the takeoff of the F-35B. The garage deck will be able to embark both wheeled and tracked vehicles, and its dimension is 107.8 meters in length and 21 meters wide, while the floatable well is 50 meters long and 15 wide, so it will be able to accommodate for LCM. As propulsion, the ship will use a catalog system, that means combined diesel, electric or gas, that will use the electric propulsion for slow speeds, while the top speed will be of 25 knots. If you want to suggest a topic for a future video, just leave it down in the comment section. The most upvoted comment will be part of a future upload. I would like to ask for your help translating this video in other languages. You can do so by clicking on the options on the right lower corner of the video, select subtitles and add subtitles. This would help me immensely in the making of these videos.